everybody. Just want to kind of make a video on showing you guys how to reduce some weight maybe within your hygiene department um, or medical kit. Uh, as you can see, I have Neosporin here, antibiotic for the cream. Um, obviously, you probably wouldn't carry, you know, Colgate uh, toothpaste like this. And I've seen people dry them out into dots. They work just as well. Um, for me, I don't know, chewing on it, that eh, just doesn't work. Uh, I came up with this idea uh, through a survival video I was watching, and the gentleman was using uh, straws to store things as like a dry locker, but ultra small, ultra compact, ultra light. You know, decided, hey, why not put, you know, Neosporin or sunblock or uh, toothpaste or whatever you can think of in here even medicines can go in here I put uh, Benadryl I'll put the Benadryl inside here too um, let me just show you how I do that turn around and you cut this and you cut this right here and what you're gonna go ahead and do I've got my pliers here you're going to go ahead and you're going to take one end of it, squeeze it down, and you're going to seal it. Get it plenty hot, make sure it's, it's completely melted down. Tap down on it, make sure. The last thing you need to do is think that you have something that's sealed and it's not. This internet connection isn't reliable right now, but you can try again later. What in the hell was that? Anyway, I'm still recording. Stupid phone. <laughs> um, anyway, in my syringe, I put in some Neosporin. Now, I have kids, so kids get syringes. They get syringes that have antibiotics in them. And what I did was pull the stopper out and squeeze in the antibiotics, put the stopper back in, press it all the way down, get the air out. Um, one thing you want to do is make sure that you put it all the way down to the base and kind of fill it from there, but don't fill it up too much because um, as soon as you go to squeeze this end, you reduce the amount of volume inside there and it comes squirting out. If you get any fluid on the inside of where you're trying to melt, it will not bond. And I had a hard time and I had a bad experience with that. Kind of put stuff on top of my med medical pack and all the contents came out because I was not careful not to get any around the sealed area. Um, so be careful when you're doing that. So it's kind of like playing that doctor game uh, operation. You know, don't touch the edge. All right, I'm just gonna throw some in there. And you're not going to be able to see it, but it's in there. And then we're going to play doctor operation. Get it out. I'm going to go ahead one more time. And I always like to make them as small as I possibly can. So I leave a little air gap in there. I'll cut it off. We'll turn around. We'll melt the ends on it. Make sure you get a good and melt it. Last thing you need to do is ruin it. You can't get the contents back out and squeeze it into another one. Well, unless you really want it to. But, um, right there. And there you go. One compact little Neosporin packet, single use. You know, maybe two or three of these in there. Um, maybe two or threes of the, the antibiotic um, toothpaste. Works just as well. You can put pills inside there. You can pretty much put anything that will fit inside. You put anything that fits inside of the straw. Um, right here is an example of Benadryl. They fit right down inside. 100% waterproof. Not going to come out. Not going to get wet. Can go through, fall in water, doesn't matter. They're 100% sealed inside there. In fact, these are probably from about a year ago. They're probably still good. I'd take them. I'd use them. But um, anything that would fit inside there is going to remain waterproof, which is important. Um, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if uh, you can think of anything else that I'm not seeing, any tips for me. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a message. Uh, leave it in the comments box and uh, we'll try and get back to you. Um, thanks for watching.